What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to our Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War English Campaign series. Now, before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to The Deets. He's another person new to YouTube. He is doing a he's doing another Medieval 2 Total War um, series of his own, and he's playing as Egypt down here, so I just thought I should let you guys know, check him out. He seems He's got a good quality video, so well, yeah, check him out. Anyway, let's get back to our game now. It's been a while. It's been a day since I last recorded, so I've had a think about what we want to do next. Now, there are some things which um, we have to take into a, um, account here. That the French, um, as soon as I can find it, uh, not there. The Pope here is. Now, we are currently in very good standing with the uh, Pope. However, if we go to war against France, um, our level with the Pope will drop and France's may very well go up. So, we have to be wary of that because any one of these people who are with, who are go in good with the Pope could end up attacking us if we drop to a certain level and we could just get excommunicated and everyone would attack us then. So, I've been thinking. I'm going to get my ship. I'm just going to get one of them actually. No, in fact, I'll keep both of them. And I'm just going to travel down to here. Just travelling down to where I believe Portugal is. My geography on the world map is not that great, but I believe this is where Portugal is. And uh, we're going to see if there's any rebel settlements around here and see if we can take them. So we have a good foothold in case we want to move straight into. Spain and skip the French because Spain don't have quite as good standing but it's still pretty good so we have to be careful of that part but it'll also give us a foothold to say go towards Jerusalem which will be down here which we'll eventually have to do so for now we are going to work on the rebel settlements in Ireland and in Wales and yeah we're gonna start by capturing them then we'll probably take out the Scottish then we'll have the whole of England, then we'll work our way down here. Now, I'm sending these tips out together just so, just in case of rebels, because there are some rebels around here Set somewhere. Sway. I'm not sure where. But yeah, as well as that, we got some uh, generals here. Now, we don't need both these people here. So, I will. Let's have a look at him. Um, let's have a look at his stats. Yeah, he will be pretty good. You would be pretty good uh, here, actually. Let's look at our leader, William the Conqueror. Just have a look at his stats. He's also got mining knowledge. Yeah, so we'll um, take our son, Henry, and send him to Nottingham for now. And we shall take our other, our other uh, um, son-in-law to France. So we'll load him onto this ship. Yes, and no get time. him over to France. Just there. We'll move this. Over. Yeah, move the ship back here. So, now that we've got that done, we shall just have a quick look and refresh ourselves of what we were doing. Mm, nothing really needs building there. Everything's building something. That'll be done next turn. So, we shall build. Mm, Let's have a look at the uh, town st st settlement details. So we're getting plenty of income. There is some problems with public order. Yeah, religious unrest. So we'll just get our cardinal and move him yes. in there. Hopefully he can solve that problem. And we shall go keep looking at our other cities first. Mm, everything appears to be building something, so we shall start recruiting some more units, I feel. Just so we have men ready, because we are going to be taking over this place here. Um, what is that? Carn Carnivore? Carnivon? I don't know how to pronounce that, and I'm probably butching, butching it horribly. But we're going to do a quick save, and then we are going to end turn and see what happens next. We're probably going to lose our merchant to this one, but yeah, we shall see what happens next. Speed this up. Mm. 
Mm, here we go. Will we lose our merchant? Oh yes, our merchant won. I feel, ooh, we have a bride presented to Robert. Let's see if we can find Robert in our family tree. Henry Robert. This is Robert. Whereabouts is he? He is down here in France. So yeah, it'd be good to get him away. Um, I don't know where she's from, but it should be fine. Yes, our merchant did it. The uh, enemy merchant there was a high level. I did have a better trade than we did, but we apparently came out the uh, better person for that. My celebration. Yes, we have very good standing with the Pope. Got some more mailed knights. Construction. End of turn. And trait increase, which is Robert. Yes, sir, he just got a trait increase from being married, I believe. So, we shall keep our ships heading down here. See if, we can see if there are any uh, rebel settlements down here. I don't know where they are on this map. So, we'll just have to find out when we get there. Everyone's still building. Mm. So we'll send a group of male knights here and send these two back out over here to get retrained. Construction. Uh, yeah, we have a slight money problem. That hopefully will get fixed up. Need to get another. Actually, what do we need here to get another uh, merchant? I don't know, it doesn't appear to be here at the moment. Mm. Anyway, let's have a look around. Um, what's London got in terms of troops? Um, yeah, we'll get some spear militia. Should we build a lever tanner actually? 600, 300. Hmm. We'll get two lots of spearmen, because we shall be moving out against this Welsh settlement here. Hmm, longbowmen. They're what really worries me. The rest of this is just some spearmen and some peasants, so it's nothing too dangerous, but we still will need a good group of men. We shall get these men heading down to here. And should we have Henry? Um, I don't think this place has got any mines at the moment, so I don't think he's he necessarily needs to be there. So yeah, he can lead the uh, army. Got some more mailed knights. But we'll leave the mailed knights to take the spear militia. Maybe some mercenaries? Not really. So, now that that is done, I believe everything is finished, we shall quick save again and end our turn. There's those rebels I was worried about. Another bride presented? Sure, why not? An honor, There's our sire. prince, move him into... Cairns. Hail my king. Um. Yeah, we'll be going to attack this place as well. So we could do with, say, a spy on the Um. But I can't really afford to build anything at this moment due to money troubles, obviously. End of turn. Yes. Faction announcements. Construction report. A couple of chapels. Recruitment. And marriage celebration. So, let's do another quick save. I like doing quick save. It's always good to quick save before you make a move in this game in case something goes horribly wrong. It's a Spanish port, that one. However, is that Rebel Land? I can't tell. Um, I think it, this might be Rebel territory over here. And if it is, then great. Because we can catch a, a city down here. So. An order. Um, can you sneak in there? Let's see if you can. Watch these movies. 
Yep, looks like he got in just fine. And that sounded like it hurt. So yeah, we can see what they have. Not much. This is only a 25% chance that we can open the gates. Um, yeah. yeah. These guys is what really worries me. Very, they're quite good in, they're quite good uh, longbowmen. Hmm. So. Command me, so okay, anything else we can do this turn? Because we all want to attack Dublin as well, but they've got some pretty vicious looking men. Yeah, look at these effective against armor. 17 attack with a 6 charge bonus. That's almost as much as a knight. In fact, that's more than my male knights. But then again, with the English, we're going to have to start moving away from cavalry because we have better ranged infantry units. We have better art. We have really good archers and better and um, quite strong infantry later on. For example, when we get this drill square built, we'll be able to build Billman. So, now that that's done, is this? No, the two pirate ships. Hmm. Don't think I, I don't think our cog will be able to take them, to be perfectly honest. So, we shall do another quick save. And. Let's have a look. Where's our. I'll send these two groups of men up here. They'll get there next turn and we'll attack in maybe a turn or two. So, that's that done. Anything else we can do down here? No, but when we get this uh, town watch next turn, we'll be able to retrain some of our men. So, a quick save and next turn. Hmm. We have a profits now, so we are starting to slowly gain back money. And we have finished our Lady Tanners and Town Watch. So yeah, we now we can recruit Town Militia. Not the greatest, but at least it's something. Once we get wooden walls, we'll be able to do some better stuff then. So, we shall quick save again. I like doing quick saves. Something that I learned when playing games like Baldur's Gate, which requires a quick save quite often. What's this part? Portuguese. Mm, Portugal. What's their standing with the Pope? Let's have a look. Pope. Portugal. Hmm. Same as Spain's. But they only have one man here. Ooh, they're currently in revolt. Yeah, they appear to be suffering from revo revolt. So that might be a good opportunity. So if we get some more men, we might be able to take Lisbon. Which may cause some problems. Um, I don't know if I can see who's got alliances with who. I think there's a way to do it. I just don't remember the buttons. Oh yes, I almost forgot. We have to yes, uh, find this town down yes, here. Sire. What does it want us to do again? Um, just do diplomatic relations, sir. Speaking we'll see if we can get trade rights. The English craft. You have a proposition for our people? Trade rights, Milan. Will you accept? It seems we Great. Have so now we have completed that mission and we have been given two town militia at our capital. Not the best in the world, but at least it's something. And Prath blocked, so that's no problem. An order. Henry, so we'll put our men with him. And next turn he shall be attacking there. There wish they'd never been born, sire. And can we just priest here, so 600 florins. Mm. For now, I think we shall wait. Yeah, we shall wait for now. Um, yeah, we want to move one of our men down here. Which one's the better commander? He is, so... I think... Oh yeah, we can return all these men now due to uh, the fact that we've got a leather tanner, so these guys will be even tougher. I think we'll do. It's a little bit expensive, but I think we can manage. Um. Yes. 
Yeah, so I think we'll have Robert set off an attack. Uh, I'm going to butcher this horribly. Just know I am. Bruggers. Hmm. Well, wait, I can't pronounce it, so we're going to do a quick save and then we are going to end the video today. So I hope you enjoyed this one um, and I will be calling next part almost immediately. So I'll see you in the next part. Take it easy, guys.